Hi, my name is Amanda. I am one of the dietitians here at Oak Bend and in honor of Sugar Awareness Week, I'm gonna be talking with you a little bit about hidden sugars in the diet. So as we all start the new year and we're trying to eat a little bit healthy, we wanted to touch on health foods that people don't realize have a lot of sugar in them. To start, the average American consumes 17 teaspoons of sugar a day. So that's this much sugar, which works out to be almost three cups per week, which that's a significant amount of sugar. So the recommendation um, is that we consume for men less than nine teaspoons and for women less than six teaspoons. So clearly the 17 teaspoons a day is much higher than that. So to start, um, let's start off with flavored yogurt. So a flavored yogurt typically has around 45 grams or 11 teaspoons of sugar in it. And a good alternative for that is to get a plain Greek yogurt and it's good in protein um, and just add some fruit to it. Uh, the other thing is when you're at the drive-thru or you're getting iced tea, getting a sweet tea instead of a soda, those tend to be around the same level of sugar. So an iced tea is typically around th uh, 35 or nine teaspoons of sugar for a 12 ounce uh, cup. Um, and so the best way to go about that is to just get an unsweet iced tea or get a water. Um, and then protein bars. Um, we're all busy and we're swapping out, you know, meals and eating a protein bar. The average protein bar has about five, or five teaspoons of sugar in it. So making sure to read the back of the label. There are a lot of options out there that say zero grams of sugar. Um, and then sports drinks. <laughs> I know a lot of people feel that they're healthy. They have electrolytes and, you know, you see all the, the athletes drinking them, but a 20 ounce sports drink has almost 9.5 teaspoons of sugar in it. For men, that's over your recommended limit. And for women, that's way over your recommended limit. So choosing water um, and adding flavoring such as lemon, lime, those types of things are helpful. And the last thing that I'm gonna to touch on is canned soup. Your canned soup can have 5.5 teaspoons of sugar in it. So making sure really just to read the back of your labels and look at the sugar content because some items are gonna be worse than others. Um, and if you need help coming up with a personalized recommendation um, in terms of your eating, you can always get in touch with us here at Oak Bend. Thank you.